Hey guys, just a, another quick pickup video here. Um, I went out today and stopped by a few thrift stores, and this is what I found. Um, I got a copy of PGA Tour Golf for the Super Nintendo, and um, they all came in bags, so I wanted to open it up to see. And uh, there it is there. It is really dusty. You can't really tell, but it's very dusty. And then I also picked up a copy of True Golf Pebble Beach Golf Links. So, and I paid $4.99 for that, so let's open this up and uh, see if there's actually Pebble Beach Golf inside. <laughs> as ridiculous as that sounds, but you can't open it up in the store, they won't let you. So, there it is. I'm going to try and open this up without, I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but you open it up and it creases that little tab really badly in the middle sometimes. So, let's see if I can get this thing out of here. And uh, there it is. It's in pretty good shape. There's some, it's kind of hard to see, but there's some little scratches and stuff all over the label there. I'm trying to get it in the light, but that's yeah, not too bad. And uh, we got inside here. We got the manual. And we have Chini Soft something. So that's awesome. And finally, the last Super Nintendo game that I picked up. It's actually a really good one. I'm surprised I found it. It is New Horizons. Um, it's a Koei game. It's an RPG. And this game is worth a fair amount of money. In box, it goes for about 80 bucks, And I bought it for $4.99. So it's odd because you look, it's been there since the 15th of November. So somebody, I don't know, maybe I got lucky. No one's been there in five days or whatever the longest been. I don't know what today's day is. It's Tuesday. It's my day off work. So. I hope to hell that this actually has the game inside of it. So let's open this bugger up and let's see. Uh, well, we got an instruction manual. You tell it's an RPG because always the instruction manuals are always in bad shape. But we got an instruction manual here. Is there anything else? Ooh. Wow. That's actually in really, really rough shape. Holy shit. I don't even know what the hell's going on here. Ooh, that really blows. I assume this must have been from a game store. Holy shit, that's in bad shape. Wow. I've never seen a cartridge in that bad shape in a real long time. Um, what do we got inside here? Well, at least the manuals and stuff are in good shape. At least decent shape. Um, there's another map or something inside of here? No. Wow, <laughs> for a box in that good a shape, that's filthy. Anyways, still awesome to have. Maybe it's not worth 80 bucks now, but kind of make it a bit of a mess. So, same store. Um, I go in there and they got some PS1 games in bags. And I look and it's it's Bratz, dress up, get down, be a Bratz superstar. I'm like, I don't, I don't want this shit. So I was like, why is it in a double case? Like, that doesn't make sense because it's... It looked like a double case, so I flipped it over. Harvest Moon, back to nature. Awesome. So let's open this up and see what's actually inside of these buggers. So I'm trying to do this with my hand, trying to make it a little difficult. Okay, let's check Bratz out first, because I'm sure you guys are more interested in that. There it is. Let's see what condition the disc is in. Oh, well, absolutely mint condition, like it's never been played. I wonder why. Anyways, there's that. I'm about to look for that piece of shit again. Okay, this is the one here, back to nature. And there it is. What kind of condition? Oh, flawless. Even better than the Bratz one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Man, can't complain. Three ninety nine. That's really awesome. So finally, the last thing I picked up, I looked at this, I'm like, Need for Speed, you know, it's it's a fun game. $3.99, I'm like, did it come in a double case? Well, guess what? Dino Crisis. Yeah. Let's open this bugger up. I hate how you take this off and it doesn't do anything else. You don't actually get into the package. Let's see if I can do this one here. No, I can't. Right. Two hands. There we go. Rah. So Dino Crisis, uh, looks like the thing's ripped a little bit on the top there. There's that. Wow. Really good shape. A little bit of hair or something on it, but really happy to get another copy of Dino Crisis because I know people that want it so I can trade it for other stuff that I don't have. So very happy to have that. 
And I guess Need for Speed, of course, Unleashed, whatever. Uh, not bad shape. So there we go. Got three awesome finds from the one store. I got, well, Dino Crisis isn't awesome, but it's really good. Harvest Moon, awesome. And New Horizons, um, Uncharted. Uncharted Waters, New Horizons. I can't believe how filthy that damn thing is. Alrighty, so I go to another store. And I found this Final Fantasy XII. And uh, I didn't open it up in the store because I was in a rush, so I didn't have time to check everything. But, oh, that's in really good shape. Well, not perfect, but good enough shape. So Final Fantasy XII for the PS2. Uh, I don't collect for PS2 yet, but um, I'm sure I can trade for somebody or. Whoa. And so then I found a couple other games. I don't know what's up with the PlayStation stuff today, but lots of it. So, these were all $2.99. Fighting Force 2. <clears throat> and, uh, it's in really good shape. So happy about that. Finally got a copy of Siphon Filter 1. I've had, I don't know why, everywhere I go is Siphon Filter 2, Siphon Filter 2, Siphon Filter 2. But Siphon Filter 1, finally got a copy of that, so happy about that. Uh, I don't really buy too much racing games, but for two ninety nine, Jet Moto Two. Sorry guys, I had to. Uh, I don't know what the hell happened. My camera just died in the middle with like fifty five percent battery left. So yeah. Anyways, um, so I got Jet Moto Two. I don't really buy racing games, as I was trying to say in my end of my last video, but uh, there it is. There. For two ninety nine, you can't complain. I also don't usually buy too many shooters on the PS One, just because. You know, graphic quality, that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, there it is, two ninety nine. Can't complain for Spec Ops. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Mech Warrior 2 for the PS1 for two ninety nine. Can't complain about that. And uh, the second best find of the day, or maybe the third best find of the day, Chrono Cross. If it was the greatest hits, it would be the second best. But everything's in there. So, so there's desk one. There's disc two, and the manual, obviously. So, not too bad. Definitely the big hits of the day. Chrono Cross, Harvest Moon, uh, really, really bad condition copy of New Horizon. I can't believe how filthy that is. Like it, it's like it's gone nuclear or something. <laughs> Anyways, uh, not too bad today. In total, everything was like $40, which is, is really, really, really good. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry about the abrupt cutoff there. You see that cable? That's plugged into my phone so that it doesn't crap out on me again while I try and record this. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.